cups of water in here. They're warm. Uh, warm water will make the flour work better, so I, I recommend that you use it warm, okay? I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to start adding a, two cups of flour gradually into the water. We'll switch to our hands in a sec. Alright, I'm going to wash my hands and finish kneading this. We're just going to let this dough rest for a few minutes before we make the arepas. This is the flour we're going to use to make our arepas. As you can see, this particular brand is Pan. It is a pre-cooked white corn meal. Uh, you can also get it in yellow. I find this in the Hispanic aisle of the grocery store. Um, don't go look for it in the flowers where they have the, the flour for uh, tortillas. Typically it's in the section where they actually have the you know, Hispanic food. So check it out there. I have oil and water in this bowl and we're going to use it to make our arepas. This will prevent the flour from sticking to your hands. So I'm going to make a ball of dough and then we're going to press it into a disc. Obviously, you can make these as big or as small as you want. That is a matter of preference. Personally, I don't really like them when they're very thick, but again, that's a matter of preference. So that's about right for me. We're going to cook these too, but I like keeping these underneath a damp kitchen, um, you know, rag or dish towel. Uh, once they're made, that way it doesn't dry up. So I'm going to melt a little butter on, uh, in my cast iron pan here. And we're going to start our arepas on this and then we're going to finish them in the oven. I want them to get a nice golden exterior. You know, this is not maybe traditional, but I'm just going to put a little butter on top. This is how I make mine, and I love them. Oh, they're getting nice and brown. I flip them again, and I'm going to give them a couple more minutes, and I'm going to put them in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 centigrade or Celsius, uh, for another maybe 10 minutes until they finish cooking, and then we'll bring them out. These, my friends, are ready. They're very hot, but I'm going to slice them and put a pat of butter in the middle. I do this with a paper towel so I don't burn my fingers. Now you can cut these all the way through. If you're going to make a sandwich, just leave that edge on. So we'll just add some butter. Perfect. You can you make any sandwich you want with these or eat them just like this. They are marvelous. I will have a video for you with the traditional carne mechada, the, you know, uh, pulled beef that's Venezuelan on Thursday so that you can see how I'm filling these, okay? Uh, again, you can fill them out with anything you want, peanut butter and jelly if you want. They're excellent. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. They're crisp in the outside and buttery in the inside. They're wonderful. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, if you give me a like, a share, a comment, and a sub, <laughs> that would be great. Uh, eat well without going broke. And I'm going to see you soon.